so this video is for a friend of mine in Charleston. Uh, your mom sent me um, uh, an email the other day saying that you're uh, still having some trouble tying your shoes and, and she was hoping that maybe I could send you a video to show you how I tie my shoes instead of using Velcro. And uh, so this is it. Um, start. Shoes are untied. Obviously they're already laced. And what I do is I'll start with the opposite side and then I wrap it around my arm like this and I cinch it together so that this, the lace actually holds itself around my arm. And then that way I can get some tension on it and pull the string tight. And then what I do is just a regular standard shoe knot. You go over and through, pull it tight. And this is the point when you wanna let go with that and pull tight with your arm and then the next step is I take the string and I lay it down across my leg, fold it back over, and then go over the top with the other one. And then you might have to get in here a little closer to see this, but what I do is I push the other string under and then grab the loop and pull it through like that. Then I pull them tight, and because I don't like tying my shoes all the time, even though I can do it, I do double knots like this, pull it back through and then just pull it tight and then that way I can slip my shoe on and off whenever I feel like it. And that way I don't have to tie my shoe all the time. But I can and hopefully this helped and if it doesn't, um, you know you know how to get a hold of me uh, but since I'm putting this up on YouTube for people that don't know how to get a hold of me. Uh, my website is www.lefty-music.com and if you have any questions for any other kind of videos about how I do other things, uh, feel free to send me an email at leftywilliamsband at gmail.com. See you later. Alright, so both shoes are the same and what I do is I take the one that's the furthest away from my, from my arm, right? And I take the furthest lace away from my arm, I wrap it around, and then pull all the way up so that it, it makes like a little cinch. So over the top and underneath until it, that way, I mean realistically all you need is for the top string to be over itself. Mm -hmm. itself. Then I come over and then through to make the first part of the knot, pull it tight, then you let go of this string, grab a hold of the string with your other hand so that you can keep tension on the knot, push it down against my leg, and it, you can do it anywhere, I mean it can be against the shoe, I like to do it against my leg so I get a nice long loop, but then I go, I fold that down so that it makes the first loop, then I come over with the string, like so. And then this is the part that we want to make sure that you can see. What I do is I take the other string and I push it underneath and through the hole so that there's a loop and then pull it through like that. 